Oh, we've hit the dirt. We're technically in the Mile Lakes National Park, but um, we're out near Bomber Point. I've never been out this way, so I'm just coming out for a look. I've no idea what we're going to find, of course. The road's nicely graded, so I haven't bothered letting the tyres down yet, but we'll find what we can find. This may be a short video guys, but we'll see what happens. Anyhow, uh, stick with me and we'll see you down the road. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. Authorised vehicles only, mouth of river fire trials. I guess I can't go that way. We'll have to follow the more main roads and see where that takes us. Well g'day everybody, Steve from Odox Touring Australia, out on my own as you can tell. I came for a day drive to go for a look around the Bomber Point area in the Mile Lakes region. All the maps told me there's a couple of tracks I could do but uh, as it turns out there's not, they're all gated. So I can't play with those and have a look. I literally drove down the road that I'm travelling back up now and I got to the Bomber Point Ferry which takes you back across the lake or the river or something and um, across towards the Mungo Brush. Now although it only costs a few bucks I don't really feel like paying that, not because I'm tight, just that wasn't my plan to go to Mungo Brush. So I'm travelling back in the dirt now to um, so what else I can find, but at this stage I'm going to wind up back in Bulladilla, so I don't know what else I'm going to find, but anyway, we'll go for a look. I've got to find somebody to have some lunch soon anyways, I'm getting a bit hungry, so I'll uh, find somewhere, but um, yeah, sadly, all the maps relating to uh, this area, they show that the roads are there, but they don't say that they're closed, but they are closed, so there's uh, no... Uh, driving along those. So um, I'm just finding a turn off here, it says Norseman's Landing, or Corseman's Landing, Camping and Picnic Area 2K, so we'll go for a look up there, let's see what we can find, we'll probably see up there something. to Corseman's Landing and Picnic here. So see where this takes us. Stupidly enough, I didn't read the signs. So I better back up and have another look. So that says so that's it. Corseman's Landing Camping Area. Fees apply for camping and park use. There you go. Can't have a look in here anyway. like a typical National Parks campground. Bollards and a few places set aside, especially for camping and such. A few people in here. I'll try not to bother them too much. Looks like we'll be hanging a Yui and bailing out. But, uh, a bit going on down here. Jetty to have a look at. Uh, yeah, doesn't look like a bad little campground. It's fairly busy. I am here on a Saturday. Uh, a few people chuck kicking a footy around, a few caravans and things in here. Thought I might have got a 
decent sort of a spot to uh, make me lunch, but I can't get close enough for uh, that kind of thing. Uh, I suppose I could do a spotlight on campgrounds on it. I'll go back here and have a look. Well, I'm in the picnic area. This is it. The campground, Corsman's campground. This is a picnic area. We'll just go down and have a look. Put you right alongside the lake. But the bollards stop you coming down in here, other than on foot. But I'll give you a look at it anyway. See what we find in here. You can walk to this point easily from that direction which is towards the campground it takes you out right onto the waterfront we're breezy down here today but uh, there's a look over the lake which is quite pretty sadly the weather's a little bit against me today i've got uh, a few clouds a bit overcast but it's quite nice wind is not helping that. Anyhow, that's the joys of it. So here's your day use area. Oh, uh, well, it's not bad. It, uh, well, it's one of the day use areas. There's a few of them, and there's a campground further in. as a Corseman camp, which, uh, you would have seen by now from the drive through had a few people in it, so. Well, I'm getting a bit hungry, so I might make myself some lunch. And I'll probably just do it where I am, and hopefully not get too much wind around where I am here, near the bollards. All right, time for some lunch. So, today I'm only doing steakettes on bread rolls. Nothing particularly flash at all. So we're just gonna cook these up. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. So, uh, just steakettes I bought from the local butcher. Nothing too major. As it's only me, Kate can't have steak yet because she's got an onion allergy. So anything that's got onion in it doesn't work for her. So she's not here. So I might as well have some steak yet. So eh? so just get all the plastic and stuff off them. Get them cooking. Now I'm not going to show you me cooking all of it. Because realistically, who needs to see all that? And I've probably forgotten stuff. In fact, I'm sure I've forgotten stuff. Yeah, I've definitely forgotten stuff like simple things like salt and pepper. Day trips. Anyway, I didn't bring the salt and pepper, so we'll be going saltless and pepperless with these. But anyhow, I'll dig out my cooking utensils that live in this box here and we'll go from there <coughs> sorry about that we'll go from there so normally i'd like to put um, salt and pepper on them but all well, i can't can i so we'll just have to do the best we can with what we've got and uh, hopefully they'll cook up all right. In the meantime, I've got the the chopping board that I carry with me. Not a lot of room in this target when you cover a lot of stuff on it. But down here. 
I'll get the bread rolls pretty well ready. So, I mean, you can eat these things as they are, as you're probably aware, guys. So, nothing much to do there. But, uh, anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll give them a chop and get them ready. These are meant to be bread rolls, not pizzas, but I'm starting to think they're a bit pizza-ish. Anyway, they should taste alright. So as I haven't got a hell of a lot to show you, I've been cooking some bloody meat patties. I'll just keep going here and when they're nearly done, I'll show you some more. Anyway, while I've got them cooking, I bought an avo. So hopefully it's it's a decent avo. And instead of using butter on me rolls here, I'm gonna put some avo on them. Anyway, the steak ets are coming along okay. They should be just about cooked, but I, as you know, guys, have zero trust without seeing them cut in the middle. So, for me, they need to be cooked just a little bit longer. But they're pretty close. So that's a good thing, and they're nearly ready. Anyway, I don't think I'll show you be cooking them much more, because that's a bit pointless. So I'll get them made up and put onto the rolls, and then I'll have them to eat, and I'll see after I've had my lunch, or during my lunch, or something like that. I will take them off to give them a bit of time to rest in a second. But uh, they're just about done. Well, they're pretty well done. So I've bunged a bit of sauce on the top. As I said, stupidly about the salt and pepper. I'm gonna have to just eat it the way it is, but anyway. Got the sauce on top. So they're pretty well, they're pretty well done. So I'm gonna hook into them. Really haven't and not in a position to show you gratuitous B-roll in the style of Harry. But, yeah, you know, I'm not a cooking show, guys. 
Fuck. There you are. Bit of gratuitous B-roll for you. All right, I'm gonna hook into these. It's all pretty good to me. Well, I'll see ya after I've had my lunch. Cheers, guys. Well, not as close as the water as I'd like to be. It's still not a bad spot for lunch. Oh, driving out of Corseman's campground and picnic area now and I still haven't got a lot to show you as the day trip goes guys so um, it may only be a very short video sorry about that anyhow yeah, we're going to head back towards Bordadilla I've had some lunch now of course so I'm uh, full as a gook but we're going to have to go back towards Bordadilla and see what else we can find but uh, not too much that I can see. I haven't had a good, good look on maps or anything, but the maps I have seen have basically showed me that um, anywhere I thought I could drive originally, I can't. So, uh, not much I can do about that, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, um, coming up in the future will be a spotlight on campgrounds. For that Corseman's camping area. Worth a look guys if you're uh, in the area. But, uh, other than that on this particular video I haven't got a lot more I can tell you about just at the moment. So uh, we will keep looking out to see what else we can find. But uh, in this area, considering it's almost in my backyard, I think I know more about it but I've done very little up here so just a matter of seeing what we can see and uh, just having a look around. That's all I can do with these day trip things, guys. I just go and look around the local region and see what I can find. Anyhow, we'll see a little bit further down as the day goes on. Oh, looks like we're just coming back off the dirt and onto the beach here. By the way guys, I haven't had to let down a tyre at all today, so um, the roads have been graded nice and of course the rest of the time I'm tar. Right, see you further down the road. Well I've come back inland from Horseman's campground and so on. I'm just in Bulladilla and I've just come to this little park. It's just on the southern side of Bulladilla. I'll give you a look at it. It's also where they a boat ramp is. It's just a nice little park to come and have a picnic at and so on. Across the river, once you go over, over the bridge. You can of course go, there's another park on the other side and that's not far from a pub so you can always go to the pub but anyway we've got the boat ramp here so you can launch uh, your boats all the usual stuff and a nice little jetty so uh, there's a nice little area on the river here so I'll give you a quick look it's uh, haven't been to show you much forward driving today or much of anything else so well, I'll show you whatever I can find as you look at the river a lot of house boats come up this way there's a lot of house boats tied up downstream as well so I don't even know what the river is here. I think it's the Mile River. But it could be 
it could be the Kura River, but I think it's the Mile River. Runs through here. If I'm wrong, it'll be on the screen. So, that's the road bridge there that used to be the main highway. But now it's just the road into Bulladilla. And I have to admit, it's chilly now that I've got out the car. So, I won't be out of the car for very long. I thought you'd just have another look around. And sort of this area, I haven't spent any time in Bulladilla as such. I've been to the pub. <laughs> I have been to Bulladilla, but haven't done a lot of looking around. Anyway, as you can see downstream there, you can see some more boats and moorings and stuff like that. You can even see the main highway that bypasses Bulladilla out there in the distance. So I just thought I'd show you that. Not much more I can tell you about it at the moment. Probably basically going home from here, so I might talk to you back on the in-car camera. Because <laughs> it's not as bloody cold in there. Alright guys, back in the car. Just, like I said, it's chilly out there in the breeze. Uh, I don't think there's much more I can show you today, so I'm going to basically head home. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, so it'll be 3.30 by the time I get home. So I hope you haven't minded this, guys. It's uh, a little bit short and sweet, this video, but I uh, did absolutely no research as to what I was trying to find and look for today, so uh, I've basically got sort of what, the, uh, what I was given from the preparation I did. Uh, um, sadly, that's uh, where I'll leave this one, guys. So, uh, I hope you didn't mind it. If you uh, didn't mind it, throw a like on it. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell and let you know when I put up a new video. The old hands as always, thanks for taking your time out of your day to watch one of my clips, even these short ones. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. All the best from Steve and Kaz and Mud Ducks Touring Australia. Just get out there, enjoy the bush, enjoy the beach, enjoy driving around the country, even enjoy the bitumen. Just get out there and have a look at everything. Enjoy touring. All the best guys, cheers for now. And we will see you next week.